Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Tuki and this is Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. In the last episode, we unceremoniously got completely tossed out of Malia Gere's home. In a most hilarious manner, I might add. Uh, so we came back here to check if there was something we could ask her to research yet. Unfortunately, that didn't amount to much, so... Let's go and visit. There's two more places where we didn't go today. I'm not sure the we can go to this. The overlooks closed for repairs until June 21st. Yeah, the okay, sign. so, oops. Oh, God. All right, so I can only go to one of these two places, so I'll head over to the square first. Maybe something changed there. Oh, there's a hot dog dude. And a kid. He looks like he's about to have a seizure. Hello, Mr. Hot Dog Vendor. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yep, I mind, all right. Why? Because A, I don't know anything, and B, I'm busy. Oh. Wow, rude. Can I have a hot dog? A doobie dog vendor has set up business in the square. He has his nose buried in a paperback novel. Gabriel notices that it is not one of his. Big surprise. <laughs> uh, tap dancer. A small boy is tap dancing enthusiastically for a doobie dog vendor. The vendor ignores him. Aw. Uh. Nice dancing for a kid. You dance pretty well for a kid. Give me some money then. I don't have any. Then don't block the view, mister. <laughs> wow. Do you do requests? Got any money? Nope. Something to eat? Uh, no. There you have it. No. Oh, snap. Can't think of anything at the moment. Okay, then. Well, all right. I'm poor as hell. Cajun band is still here doing their thing. Oh, there's someone over here. An Ortiz. Oh, hey! Oh, come back here. Hey! Oh, unbelievable. Rotten luck. And he just goes straight back to drawing. Sketch. There's a drawing caught up against a statue. Oh, let's go get it for him. Gabriel can't reach the drawing from where he is. Okay, mm. so we're probably gonna have to get some extension or like a pair of tongs or Stupid I don't know. Wind. Now I have to start all over. Yeah, okay, why don't you cry about it? Hi. Those drawing tools are amazing. Those drawing tools are amazing. Yeah, they're great for laying lines, angles, circles, you know, anything geometric. It's pretty meticulous, but I prefer it to freehand. <laughs> Can you draw anything with those tools? They're great for ordered complex forms and patterns, but they won't help me do Monet. <laughs> What's Monet? How's it going? Life sucks. I just lost two days worth of work. Hmm. Okay, well, what are you working on? What are you working on now? Just starting another drawing of the cathedral. I'm sorry about that. Mm. This dude's still going at it. I wonder if he sleeps. Police officer's gone. Um, I don't know of anything that we can use to get to that. Um, let's get to the cathedral. Maybe there's something in there. Anything? Someone is in that oh. confessional. Oh, I guess my bad luck. Someone is. Hmm. Okay. Well, back to Jackson Square. I have a bit of a feeling there's something we can do. Okay, so we need to get this sketch to give it to that dude. 
I almost like yeah let's use the tweezers because that's gonna make like a giant extension right mm. can I combine anything what oh shirt and gel why would I okay Oh, okay. Gabriel is carrying a scale he found near the crime scene at Lake Pontchartrain. All right. Um, let's Defender use him. wouldn't be interested in. Okay, maybe I can use the badge on him. The vendor wouldn't be. Oh, the kid. What would the little boy do with it? I don't know. That would be, at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> Must click. Hmm? Bars around the statue. Through the bars around the statue. Oh! Got any money? Nope. There you have it. No. Huh. Can't think of anything. Okay then. Okay, so the game's hinting that we're supposed to use the kid to get in there? But he wants money, and we don't have money. We've got a gift certificate. Would he like a gift certificate? What would the little boy do with? I don't know. Would you like a gift certificate? Oh God. I have this gift certificate. I'm busy. It's good for twenty dollars at St. George's Books, finest bookstore in New Orleans. Really? I'll have to check it out sometime. You could take this gift certificate with you. If you'll give me a doobie dog. A doobie dog for a $20 gift certificate? Sure, here you go. Don't put it in your pocket. So I assume you give that to the kid? Wouldn't like a doobie dog by any chance. Would I? Poor kid. Must be starving. Don't eat your whole hand. Oh jeez. Thanks, mister. You got any special requests? Let me know. Sure, I got a special request. You mentioned something about special requests. Yeah, you got one? Can you fit through the bars around the statue? Can I? Just watch me. Good. There's something in there I can't quite reach. Can you reach that piece of paper? Sure thing. That's not completely ruined. Here you go. Thanks, Thanks kid. Yup. See ya. Happy dancing forever. That's just the dance that never ends. Okay, let's go give it back to this dude. This belongs to you, doesn't it? My drawing. How'd you get it? Oh, it was a bit of a squeeze, but I hate to see you lose your work. I lost my only copy of a manuscript once. Well, you saved my butt. Let me know if I can ever do the same for you, hey? Sure. Nice drawing of the cathedral. Hey, thanks. It's really precise. Well, I'm an architectural student, actually. It's good practice. Do you mind if I watch you? Be my guest. Okay, so what was the point of that? Hmm. Maybe... I don't think he'd have anything to do with that. Um, maybe this? Is there any way you can reconstruct the whole Ooh. pattern from these partials? Hmm. The pattern is probably circular, and there's some repetition in the elements. Okie dokie. Well, there's... Oh, I think there's an area missing. If you could give me any more of these, I'll see what I can do. Oh, okay. Well, we have one more section. I have another one of those patterns. Really? 
Let's see. Yeah, yeah, this is great. I think there's enough overlap now. I'll give it my best shot. I'll show you what I come up with tomorrow. Great. Oh. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay. So I guess that's that out of the way. I think we should go give Mosley's badge back. I don't know, let's go check. <laughs> hey, yeah, so we borrowed your badge. Um, just because. No reason. Just committed a felony. Who, me? Go to je jail? But I'm such a pretty boy, I'll be, you know, the village bicycle by the end of the day. Everyone gets a ride. Hey, bud. You. Last time I looked. Give me my badge. Oh. Right now. Oh. oh. Is that why you're so excited? If you knew what I needed it for. I'm sure it was to impress a woman. <laughs> you could have asked. Do you know how embarrassing it is to admit your badge was stolen? I had a photo with the chief, and he wanted me wearing it. Oh, snap. I should lock you up, Knight. I suppose you could. Seems to me, though, there was that time you borrowed my bike without mentioning it, right from in front of my shop. Yeah, don't remind me. Just don't do it again. Okay. So, I guess that's out of the way. Don't really have much to talk about. I just wanted Can to I give you your... You're the right Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Um, we've been everywhere. A sign on the front door of Magenta's home reads, attuning with the spirit realm, back on June 22nd. I wish I, that could be my reason for staying home from work. Sorry, boss, can't come in today. I'm attuning with the spirit realm. Hello, beautiful. I'll be sent to the, the loony to bin. Okay, maybe we can ask her to research something this time. Got a minute? What's up? Still nothing. Could you do? Sure. What? Still nothing, huh? I can't. Well, that's unfortunate. Um. I missed something over here. Just gonna talk to this dude again. Can I ask you just whatever? Why is he so rude? Are you so what it you mean you should mind your own business? Oh snap. What do you think? If you're not from around here, monsieur, you should sign up for some tour. Wow, this guy really is an ass. Okay, I don't think there's much else I can do over here. Maybe back to the museum. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know what Capri Saint Carl means? I fear my French is not all it should be, Mr. Knight. So where? Oh, here and there. We accept donations of any pertinent items. Nothing to do here. Okay, and we are back. Um, so unfortunately, it seems that I ran into a little bit of a bug, where uh, in the end of the previous episode, I, I quit the episode when I was in the Dixieland drugstore, I believe. At some point I did, um, when the old lady came in and she left. If you quit at that point in the game, things you never entered. So I had to replay the day off camera. Um, you'll notice I have some more points, but... I'm not sure what I did different. I don't think I did anything different. Got a minute. What? So now we should be able to ask her. Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? I need you to look up a Madame Casano. Madame Casano? Is she related to the murders the same way your friend Molly Aghetti was? Grace, 
Casano's at least 70. <laughs> As if that makes a difference to you. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Well, oh, it's about closing time. And that was so it? it is. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Gabriel. And try not to dream, okay? Does he ever eat? Bruno's Blooms. Are we gonna dream again? Yep. Finally, day three. Drawn to the halls of learning, I sought there to conspire. But it was in the city of the dead that I found my heart's desire. You see there on the second floor of the St. George's bookstores, there's a balcony. What's the point of that balcony? You can't get to it. I'm through the window? Eh. I'm so glad you could join us today. I've got messages when you want them. I also checked out Casino. There are multiple listings in the white pages. I got the page, but you'll have to figure out the right one. Right. Thanks. Jeez, the way she just tilted her now, neck freaks me out. Are you going to tell me what happened yesterday with Molly Agetti? Or is it just too embarrassing? Mm. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually got to see her. All as dolls I'll deny. Gabriel, you don't seriously think she's interested. She can have any man in the city. You know, men with bank accounts. You underestimate the Knight family's tragic poet samurai appeal. When Daddy married Mom, she was the hottest catch in town. Hmm. I always suspected there was something fishy in your family tree. But seriously, I think you should be careful. Meow, Grace. I'm serious. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach about this. It's called jealousy, my dear. <laughs> and you're right. You should be jealous of Malia Getty. And should every woman on this planet. I just... Oh, never mind. I'll just fix these books. Your life is in your own slippery little hands. The point <laughs> is to get it into somebody else's hands. And soon. <laughs> Let's check the news. As usual. Today's newspaper. Times dated June 20, 1993. Gabriel scans over an uninteresting front page. Under the cultural event section, there's a notice about a lecture on African religions. The lecture is at Tulane University. Gabriel's horoscope for the day. An evil eye is upon you. Change your course before it's too late. Oh, oh snap. Yeah, jeez. Change your course before it's too late. Mm. Voodoo isn't real, Got okay? A minute, Grace? What's up? You said messages? Do you have messages for me? Your pal Mosley called. He left a message that they are interrogating a suspect this morning, and you might want to be there. Sounds fun. Oh. Mm -hmm. I bet. 
Anything else? Do you have messages? I've given. Oh, okay. Um, did she give me a telephone thing? Uh, oh. Kazunu B, Kazunu, Kazunu A, Kazunu S. Uh, we've got to find out which one of these it is. Uh, I think there was a telephone in his bedroom. Let's just call each one of them. Oh god, that looks gross. Um, let's use this on the phone. Okay, let's begin with... 0127. Is this the Casino resident? Yes. What can I do for you? Do you or does anyone in your family patronize the Dixieland drugstore? I'm a busy man. What are you selling? Nothing. Good. Goodbye. Okay, so not Casino B. Let's try just Casino. wondering if you could help me yeah a woman in the dixieland drugstore dropped her purse today and the name casino was inside it dixieland drugstore never heard of it sorry okay goodbye then that's probably going to be the last one Ugh. hello hello i'm calling from the dixieland oh, no, it's her. drugstore we have an order for you. Castro, be quiet. Who is this? I'm a friend of the owner. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. Suspicious. Okay, so we got the right lady. But we need her dress. Can we ask her for research on the address? Does this mean anything to you? Sure, I'm the one that gave it to you, remember? Um, okay. Don't shake your head at me, woman. Got a minute? What's up? Sure, what? Mm. Um. Coco ca ca cauliflower cancer canker. See si, the World Travel Agency. Kanka Kanavno Ka Kanoa Kan so Cajun Critters Veterinary Clinic. If I have to like call all of these numbers, I'm gonna be so mad. Hmm. It's a stretch, but I'm gonna call like the the vet clinic because she's got a dog. And because this kind of stands out on the page. So, you know, game design. Cajun Critters Animal Clinic. This is Melissa. Mm, animal sacrifice. Do you have a Madame Casino as a client? Madame Casino? Sure, I know her. She's not here right now, though. Really? Hmm. She told me she'd be there. Would you happen to have her address by any chance? Uh, yes, but I'm not sure I should give it out. Who are you again? She's my aunt. She's won a major prize. I'm, ah, I'm worried about Castro. I'm worried about Castro. He's missed three dance lessons. Castro? Her little doggy? Oh, he's so sweet. Well, I guess if you know Castro, it's okay. Her address is 345 Dauphine. Thanks. Bye. Well, bingo on that then. 
Um, okay, so what is on our list of things to do? Uh, bingo! Never let it be said that little white lies aren't useful. Got our address. I'm curious about what she knows about voodoo. Yes. Hope I get to see Malia. I'm not sure I could go to her house. I still need to learn more about voodoo. There must be a fast and easy way to educate. Ah, wink, wink. Yeah, there's a lecture at Tulane. Uh, so either the university or let's go see the interrogation before we close out this episode. What the hell? Oh, right. And we can do that as well. But let's go check the in interrogation. Oh. Is it the dude from the park? A drummer has decided to sit up outside the police station. Is that legal? Hey. The drummer looks at Gabriel but says nothing in return. Okay, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. There's one here. There's one in the park. There's one all in front of Dr. John's freaking museum huh. also this dude that used to stand down here is gone hey fatty fatterson can I bob what is what oh you can't talk about the oh okay fine can't talk about the the drummer standing outside it's strange Oh, the dude down here in front is probably busy with the interrogation. With mostly. Glad you made it. It'll yep, there he is. For how I am in action. You know, handling suspects, that sort of thing. I'm sure it'll be invigorating. Who is this guy anyway? Calls himself Crash. He's been an informant for us before, mostly helping us bust small-time pimps and dealers trying to break into the territory. He's been staying invisible during these murders, but we picked him up this morning at Jackson Square pushing coke. He knows something. Call it Detective's Instinct. Detective's Instinct? Got it. Alright, Crash. I want to hear about these murders. Have you been present at the so-called voodoo rituals? I don't know nothing. Alright, I told you. Come on now. You can tell me. Do you know anyone who's been to these rituals? Look, I can't say nothing. You gotta let me go. Relax. No one knows you're here. The men who picked you up were in plain clothes. Plain clothes? Like you could fool them. They know I'm here. They've got ears all over the city. They know everything. Who are they, Crash? Are they the ones doing the murders? Let me go. If you're so worried about being detained, start talking. You tell me what I want to hear, and maybe I can get you into the witness protection program. But you gotta earn it. Witness protection? Are you crazy? Oh, don't make me laugh. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, just let me out of here. Oh, come on. Who's behind these murders, Crash? Why are the victims all members of the underworld? Oh, by now they know I'm here. It's different when I'm supposed to come here. Oh, if, if I can send a message. Yeah, tell them I didn't say nothing. Christ, it's freaking useless. Just take him back to detaining, would you, Tony? I tell you, times like this, I'd kill for truth serum. Damn civil rights. Can I quote you on that? Huh? Hell no. Damn, we can only keep him for 24 hours. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to let him go. Sorry it wasn't more exciting. You know, for the book, I mean. Hey, maybe you could punch it up some. You know, uh, what do they call that? Uh, fiction. That's it. It certainly is. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> okay. Back to can boring I ask music. You about some stuff. You're the writer. Um. What's the status on the voodoo murders case? Sure as hell ain't going well. There sure are a lot of breaks being applied in different areas of the investigation. We're getting some real info on the victims now. And they're not exactly upstanding citizens. I was hoping to get more out of Crash, but he's scared shitless. We'll have to let him go tomorrow morning. What's this? You're his. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think uh, I'm just going to leave the scene this time if, in case there's another bug coming up. Um, but yeah, 
I think I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I appreciate a like and a comment. I would appreciate it even more, though, if you would tap that sub button. But, yeah, thanks for uh, doing the voodoo that you do so well with me today. And I will catch all of you guys in the next episode. So, bye-bye for now.